Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome back to today's Wild Rift video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Ezreal. Now, in this gameplay, you're going to be seeing pretty much a flawless Ezreal game. Maybe a few mistakes here and there, but this is kind of the perfect way to play Ezreal. You kind of sit back in the early game, farm up your mana mew, get to your mirror mana point. So you have a lot of mana, you have a lot of damage, you have your Trinity Force and Steric Gauge in there, and then you can carry team fights. Now, with the build, as I've just mentioned, you do want to go for mana mune as the first item. Now, you can switch this up a little bit. You can go for straight mana mune if you can afford it early on. But another way you can do it is instead of going straight for mana mune, you can actually go for just the tier of the goddess and then try and go for Trinity Force. Now, this will stack your tier a little bit slower, but it will get you to that Trinity Force power spike quicker. Now, with Trinity Force, it is a really, really good item for Ezreal, especially with the spell play passive. Use an ability cause the next attack within 10 seconds to deal bonus physical damage. Now, your first ability, your Q, acts as an auto attack. So your first ability, if you land it on a minion or a champion or on anyone, it will proc play, uh, Spellblade straight away. And you don't actually need to use an auto attack or you don't need to auto attack to be able to prop the Spellblade. So that's why Trinity Force is such a great item. Obviously, you get a lot of health, you get the attack damage, attack speed and ability haste, which is all really, really good for Ezreal. So most of the time, what I like to do is I like to go tier into just buying sheen so you get the spell blade effect straight away as you can see there you get the spell blade effect and after sheen you complete your man immune and then you go for trinity force so your build will kind of look something a little bit like this you go for that you go for that and then after that you will go for your man immune so after this here you'll swap that out and then you will go for your mana mune. So it will look a bit, a little bit like this. You have your mana mune and you have your sheen. And then after your sheen, you'll go towards the Trinity Force. So that's another way you could do it if you want to go with that route. Uh, another item which people have been talking to me about is Iceborne Gauntlet. Now the only reason I would really buy Iceborne Gauntlet is if I'm against a full AD comp. Obviously it has a really, really nice slow Iceborne Gauntlet. But you do lose out on a lot of damage. You do get that quite a lot of armor though, so like I said, it is good against a lot of, um, if you're against, or oh, sorry, a lot of physical damage. But most of the time, I do like to go Trinity Force because it does give it does give you a lot more damage. In terms of boots, Gutless Greaves is really good because you don't get uh, life steal early on. You can go for Lucidity Boots if you want to as well, but most of the time you don't really need Lucidity Boots because you're already getting a lot of CDR from your Man Immune, from Trinity Force, and from Serrader's Grudge. Now, speaking of Serrader's Grudge, it is our third item. Really, really nice item for Ezra. It allows you to slow every single time you use your abilities. Just a really, really powerful item overall. Gives you attack damage, gives you ability haste, like I said. Gives you that little bit of armor penetration if you are struggling against enemies that are building a lot of armor as well. And it's just the perfect core item for Ezreal. As you're peeling back or as you're chasing down enemies, you can slow them down and you can deal even more damage. Now, these are your three core items. Man Immune, Trinity Force, and Sterix, uh, Shred, Squad, sorry. Now, after that, it's kind of whatever you really want to. Whatever you really feel like is best at the time. In this instance, I've gone for Blade Rune King. Now, Blade Rune King is a really good item for Ezreal. It doesn't give you a lot of attack damage, but it gives you a lot of attack speed. And it also gives you the drain effect as well, which allows you to chase down enemies better, allowing you to steal movement speed. And it's just really, really good at dealing bonus uh, physical damage depending on the enemy's current health. So, if you are against a lot of tanks, a lot of people that are building health, then Blade Rune King is a really good item to allow you to deal more damage to them. As I, let me quickly turn off the notifications. There we go. Um, but yeah, you can go for Blade of Rune King. And after that, you can go for Guardian Angel if you want to be a bit more defensive. You do have a lot of items that you can choose from, though. As I mentioned, it is very flexible. You can go for Death Stance if you're against a lot of Assassins. 30% of the damage taken is instead dealt as Bleed over 3 seconds. You can go for that. If you get a lot of magic damage, you can go for more amount Mortius to get that magic damage shield if you feel like you're a little bit worried about it. If you want to even go for maybe something crazy, like maybe even more attack speed, Wits End is not too bad either. But you can go for other items as well. Like I said, Guardian Angel is pretty good. You can go for maybe something even more defensive, like maybe Warmogs or Randwin's Omen. Like I said, as long as you have Man Immune, Trinity Force, and Serrader's Grudge, you will be completely fine. After that, you can kind of build whatever you want. 
Now for runes, Conqueror is still the best rune for Ezreal. Still really, really good. Allows you to deal a lot of damage. And obviously with Ezreal, you'll be in fights a lot. You'll be using your abilities a lot. So you can gain them stacks a lot quicker. Champion. Now, I kind of feel bad because in this flawless gameplay, I didn't actually pick Champion. I went for Brutal instead. But if I went for Champion, I would have dealt the bonus 8% damage to champions and i would have been dealing a lot of damage now champions are very high risk high reward rune you can go for champion if you want to but if you do die you do lose um half the stack so if you die once you lose four percent so you go down to four percent damage to champions and if you die again you go down to zero percent so basically it's useless so if you feel like you're going to play safe and if you're going to die less than two times and champion's really good and champion's really good for that early game damage as well if you really want that but Sometimes you can go for something else instead. You can maybe go for something like uh, Hunter Vampirism to get a little bit of healing early on. Go for Brutal as well for that little bit of early game damage. But most of the time I like to go for Champion unless I'm against like a heavy dive assassin comp that I feel like I'm going to dive to all the time. Hunter Titan, again, a really, really good rune. Gives you health and tenacity. You got Sweet Tooth in there. And then for your spells, you got Flash and Barret. But as I said, this could be a flawless gameplay that I'm going to show you guys. Hopefully you will enjoy. Hopefully you will enjoy this build breakdown. I will be bringing you more guides over the next few days. Just a bit of an update on the tier list. The tier list I will be bringing out after Caitlyn and Jace release. So I will be do doing a bot lane tier list then. Kind of struggling at the moment with the tier list. Kind of, there's a lot of the champions at the moment I feel like you can carry on. Ezreal, Lucian, Zaya, Kaisa, Varus, Corky. There's loads and loads of good champions at the moment. So... It might be a di bit difficult to do the tier list. Hopefully, Caitlyn will be up there as one of the best. I'm really fo looking forward to Caitlyn's release coming out very, very soon. But yeah, as always, take care. Uh, enjoy the gameplay. And I will see you all very soon. Peace.